Hello everybody, this is Risa, and I'm back with another wish haul. Hope everyone's doing good. I think I got like 13 things to open in this haul from Wish. And before I open those, I do have two other packages I'd like to open. So let's hop right on into it. The first thing I got is from V. Roche. I've opened boxes from them before in previous hauls, so you might have caught that if you've seen my other videos. Now, I ordered this, like, before I went camping, and, like, it came while I was camping, so I vaguely remember that there might be, like, jewelry in here and shower gel, maybe? I guess I'll find out. Well, if you remember this from other hauls, like, I like to order from there. They're kind of like Avon. And a lot of times I'll order from there just to get the free gifts because, like, I'll like them so much. And, like, you can, there's, like, no minimum order that I know of, and you can still get the gifts. Whether or not they like that, I don't know. But I'm guessing if they didn't, you know, maybe they would just, like, make a minimum order, right? <laughs> Alright, so let's check out what I got. Let's see here. I know this box is probably going to be in the way a little bit, but that's okay, right? Oh, that's right. They have awesome shower gel. Okay, what kind was this? This was yellow. <laughs> yeah, I am not French. Do not speak French. Took Spanish in school. So I'm not really sure how to say it, but it's something like Carambol de Malaisal from Malaysia. I'm not sure about the scent, so I'm going to have to smell that, but I got three of these, and I got these for gifts, actually. I'm, as much as I love this kind of shower gel, I get these for gifts because there's a couple people I know that like these. So that's what these are for, and I'll put these aside for Christmas. Let me see if I can smell one. I don't think. Oh, I can smell it. It has a lemony kind of smell. It's like fresh. I like it a lot. And a lot of times they have different shower gels that are in like different shaped bottles, but these ones here and like the wider bottles, they are my favorite. And when I went to look at the order form, these this is the only, like, scent that I've seen of those. So I'm hoping in, like, the next little brochure I get in the mail, they have more of these. Because I really wanted to get more of these for Christmas gifts. But I'm glad to have had at least these. And they were, like, $4. And I don't know if that was the... I can't remember if that was the sale price or if it was how much they were. But I had a deal where I think you got them either half price or buy one, get one free or something like that. Anyway, I like these, so, and I have two brochures to open from them, so I'm hoping at least one of them has some more of these shower gels, because these are really good. Like, I used to have some, but I think I used them all up. But I do like these a lot. That smell was nice, too. I had never tried that particular one. Alright, here's another shower gel. This one is a free gift that I got in the order. And it is... Common Evidence. Probably not saying it right, but it's one of the perfumes they have, so it's kind of like one of their more expensive kind of shower gels if I had bought it, but it was a free gift, and I believe I was allowed to pick between that and, I don't know if it was like a body wash or something facial anyways, and I love shower gel, so I'm either going to keep this or use it as a gift. Let me see if I can smell it. Hello. It's kind of a faint smell, unless it's just me. Um, it seems okay. It was free, so I don't know. Maybe I'll open it up later more and smell it more. This might end up being a gift if I'm not too impressed with it, because, you know, they make nice gifts, because everybody needs to wash themselves, right? Or everybody should wash themselves. Alright, so that's cool. They always put these little samples in their orders. I'll put the link to the website in the links to the description for my wish stuff in case you want to check them out and stuff and once you order once or twice like you might get on their mailing list it might take a little bit longer I know it took me longer but it's nice and even if you get the brochures in the mail there's like a little key code on there that you can order it online if you want to in case you don't want to do it through the mailing or if you want to just call it in but I don't really like calling it in personally I don't know I've had a couple issues with them calling it in and I'd rather do it online with the code, but I use prepaid cards for everything, and the last, last two out of three times, not counting the last time that I went to order it online, my prepaid card, when I went in to put in the year, it had a drop-down box, and the last choice was the year before my card, so I was unable to actually put in my year of my prepaid card. There was no place to type it in. You had to pick one of the years. 
So that kind of sucked because I had to call. And then like when I called, the person was kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but anyways, it was not enjoyable. So I'm so happy last time that I ordered that my year was on there and I was able to place it that way because, I mean, you know, you don't want to have any problems. Like, I would rather not talk to anybody when I'm placing an order personally. Anyway, I digress. So this is like um, facial serum and stuff like that that you can use. And a lot of the times that stuff sometimes gets end up thrown away or sometimes they keep it, but... All right, I think this was another free gift, if I remember correctly. I think I had three free gifts, yes. They actually, that um, shower gel there, that gift was, I think one of them was because I had been on there. It was like they called it my anniversary of being a customer so many years. I don't remember how many years it was. It was like four or six or like 900, something like that anyway. That's why I got like three free gifts from this time. So I think that was what that one was for, the shower gel. But this one is Ultra Fresh Cleansing Gel. And this stuff's probably pretty good, and I probably should use it, but I don't. But either I'll use it or it makes a good gift, just like Avon stuff does. And that's that. And then they always put, like, an envelope in there of special offers and stuff that, that goes right in the trash, usually. But, oh, where'd that just go? Oh, I meant to keep this out. <laughs> this is my last free gift that I got with my order. So, basically what I did is I ordered three shower gels, and after ordering the three shower gels... I got three free gifts, and then I had to pay shipping, so, I mean, it was a pretty cheap order. I think it was, like, nineteen ninety five, maybe? So I think it was, like, $40, Maybe, yeah, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, it was less than 20 So this was a jewelry set that was free. I ended up ordering. A lot of the times, like, I'll base whether or not I want to order on the free gifts, because they're nice. They're cool. I don't remember what this jewelry set looks like, so we're going to find out together. Cute little green bag they come in. I haven't been holding this stuff up close enough. It's been a while since I did my last haul, so hopefully I'm doing alright here. And hopefully the lighting's okay. It is so super dark out today. It has been like rainy and like miserable and stuff and kind of even cool in here actually. Alright, looks like they got. Oh, that's one of those things that you don't want to eat. Put that right in the trash. <laughs> All right, this seems like little jewelry, whatever this one was. Let's open it up and see what we got here. It looks like this was a bracelet and necklace set, from what I can see here. All right, here's the bracelet. It's got the little silver chain and a light pink stone on it. That's that. And then the necklace is the silver chain and the pink stone on the end. So it's like a simple little set. Um, definitely wouldn't go with what I got on today. <laughs> it's alright. I mean, it's cool, I guess. It was free. I can dig it. Free things rule. Oh, I don't know how many of you uh, people out there shop on Wish as much as I do or surf on Wish as much as I do, but with the daily giveaway, I've won a few more times, and it's been kind of like random little things, but there was like two days, maybe one day, I went on there and it was the daily raffle instead of the daily giveaway, and I'm like, what did they do? What did they do? And it was like the same thing, it would pop up a little bit different, but you could enter, you could pick a prize to enter for, and then you got entered in the raffle. And then you'd come back at 9.30 and you'd see if you won. Maybe it was three days, because I think I did it three days, and I didn't win, of course. And I'm like, well, this is kind of fun, because I guess maybe you get more of a chance of entering, but at the same time, I, it's like however many people entered for that prize had a chance of winning. So it's like if you click on it, you have like one out of like 300 or 162 chance, and I didn't really like it. And I haven't seen it back since, and it went back to the daily giveaway, and I really hope they keep it that way, because I would much rather instant, like, who doesn't like instant gratification? Like, you know? Anyway, if you don't do the if you don't do the daily giveaway, you're probably like, what is she babbling about? But anyway, I am glad that that raffle thing didn't last. I hope it's not coming back anytime soon because boo. <laughs> all right, so that was my Viroche Viroche box. So that was all right. Mostly that shower gel, though. I'm kind of glad for. I'm gonna check out the next mailing that's on there and see if they got anything new. I mean, it is towards the end of August and. 
you know, Christmas is only a little over four months away. I mean, that sounds like a long time, or if you're like me, like, it's going to be here before we know it, because this week is, this week, this month, this year have just, like, sailed by. All right. What I have in here, this is full fulfilled through Amazon. This is one of the app game prizes that I play. Like, and if you've seen my last few hauls, you know that the main one I play is Very Dice. And there is a couple other ones I play. And I will leave the link and my friend's code to this game, Boardwalk, that I play in the description. So if you're interested, please, you know, help me out and use my friend code. Although, Very Dice gives you a little bit more for referring than this game does, but also, just check it out because it's fun. And if you like free stuff like me, it's always fun to earn free stuff. Now, they have a little a gift for you in here. This one takes a little bit longer than Very Dice to win something on. This one, you earn tokens, and then when you have your tokens, you play the games on there, and then you get tickets from playing the games, and then you use your tickets to redeem stuff. And I'll probably never do like a separate video on this unless like someone requests it because I don't. it takes a while to win something on there. But it's been getting a little bit better than it used to be, but this was the lowest thing you can get is the 15k items, and then after that's 30k. And if you watch one of my last few hauls, I got the face wipes, eye rags, the mineral ones. They're really nice. I like those. I'm still using those. Anyway, this one was 15k, and it is Crayola Twistable Crayons. Let's see if we can open one up here. I might not open it because I might save this for a gift. So let's just see if like you can see it. <laughs> They're the crayons that you twist up on the end, so you never have to sharpen them. And then, like you twist them up, it's not bad. It's got the red, yellow, green, blue, green. You know, it's got the basic colors, but it's got it's got ten. So this is a pretty good deal, I guess. I'm no sharpening, just twist up the fun. Got it for free. I thought I'd make a good little gift and stuff. They're starting to get a little bit more on there to redeem for 15k. It used to only be a few things, so it's like they're expanding, which is nice. There is another game that I play that I don't remember. I had the long handled. No, that was something else. I don't think I actually got the prize yet from the other game. There's like another mystery game that I have not linked to yet that is like the bottom of the barrel compared to the other ones that I play. And it might be in this haul and it might not be. I have like enough stuff almost for another haul, so that won't be too long in the future when I'll be doing that one. So like I kind of divided up the stuff, and I still have more coming, but I don't know, I think I might be rambling a little bit. But anyway, one of those things that I got from that other game, I also ordered off Wish. Because I ended up like ordering something off the game, and then they told me it was no longer available. So I ended up picking like the other thing, even though I had it coming from Wish. Because I liked it, and I thought I could save one as a gift, so... Hopefully I'll be able to figure out when I open it if it's from Wish or if it's from that game. Because I'm pretty sure they are both coming from Asian sellers. But Alright, sorry. That that didn't seem like it came out too right. Let's get on to the Wish stuff. I got 13 things to show you today. And hopefully they're all good. I have a grab bag full of clothing items and little items. So hopefully it'll be neat. Let's see what's in here. It's a bracelet. It's jewelry. This is not exactly what I thought it was going to be, so. This looks pretty. I got high hopes for this one. It is very pretty. It is sparkly. Alright, let's see if I can uh, show it to you good here. It's kind of twisted up, but hopefully you can see it. It's purple stones. Silver and purple. And the clasp... Oh, I like that. It's got a little silver bar there that you strut, that you just pull up and down. It like kind of glides on there. The silver is really sparkly. I hope this stays nice like it is. Got my bracelet I usually have on here. Let's see. Pull it out. It's kind of twisted up here. Let's see. Get it on there. Get it on there. This is kind of like tricky <laughs> with one hand. It's actually not going too bad. Just kind of work your finger there and get it on. Usually I probably use my teeth, but I don't know if I should do that with all you guys watching. That's kind of weird, right? Is it weird? I don't know. I don't know. I like this. This is nice. I might have to order this in the other colors. I don't remember how many colors there were, so you'll have to check out the link and see that, but 
I am very impressed with this bracelet. This is, you see the purple on there? And the little silver, little dangly little clasp? I really like that. Good item. Pretty sure it was two bucks. Dollar dollar shipping, free two dollar shipping, if I remember correctly. I am very happy with that. Very nice first wish item. That is very cool. Hope it don't break. It seems like it's in pretty good shape, too. Awesome. Very cool. Alright, um, how about... This is next. Let's see what we got. I think I need the scissors. What's it gonna be? I remember this. I have been having very bad luck with my laptop lately with my wireless mouse that I buy. Like, a couple mouses ago, I got this one. It was like, you know, I wasn't getting like the cheapest one. It was, I don't know if it was like 10 or 15 or something like that. And I'm like, okay, I'll get like a middle price one so I don't have any problems with it. So I get it. And it started acting up on me. And I don't remember what it was that it was doing. And I'm like, is it my mouse or is it my computer? Anyway... I ended up trying to shop for another one. I think it was back when I was like Christmas shopping, some kind of shopping. And I found this camo one. And it was supposed to be like the world's quietest mouse. I think it was mossy oak. And it was too. It's like you click it and it barely makes any noise. Anyway, this has started acting up on me. And I don't know if like, it's like, you know when you click something and then nothing happens and you have to click it like a million times? That's what this mouse is doing. And it's driving me crazy. Like, I don't even know. And I, tr I tried the battery, too, and it wasn't the battery, so... I still am using that one right now, so I'm like, I'm gonna order a cheap mouse off Wish and see if that's better, because, like, sometimes I have had cheap ones in the past work better than the more expensive ones, so... I mean, we'll see. So I ordered this, and if I remember right, it was, like, two dollars and something cents. It was, like, a really weird amount. And, like, I use the percent off, 5, 10, 15 percent off things, and sometimes I have a rebate, so it makes it weird prices... But if I remember right, this was like a weird, straight up weird amount. But it was less than three bucks. And this is what we have. Um, wait a minute. Don't you need a USB to have a wireless mouse? <laughs> Alright. Because um, I don't see it. There is nothing in that package but this. Um, let's see. I think it's right there. Excitement. Okay. This is another one that takes AAA batteries. Like, my mouses I've always had in the past have all taken AA, and my last two or three have taken AAA, and I'm pretty sure this one takes AAA too. Like, yeah, it's like making noise when I shake it. I do not. A little piece of black plastic just fell out of it. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna get my homes up with this mouse because of that little piece of black plastic that just fell out, but I'm still gonna try it, and I think. I found the USB. <gasps> I found it! Okay, let me show you the mouse first. Um, pretty standard. It's got the wheel and the little OPI thing in there and left and right. Seems to click okay. Maybe that black piece is extra? That does not sound good to me. We're still gonna try it. Obviously not on the haul, we're not gonna try it, but... The USB, like, there's a little piece of black plastic there underneath the battery compartment and it pulls out. Like, I have never gotten a mouse like that. Like, that's kinda cool. It's exciting. Alright, so this is actually going to be tried out today, so I will find out if it works, and it'll be exciting. And maybe if, like, I can tell that it's going to work with that not falling out, I could order another one, but I actually, I think I have another mouse coming, too, because i seen one that I thought looked kind of neat on there, so I ordered that, too. So maybe eventually I'll get a nice mouse off Wish for cheap, and something that'll work good. Like, I hate that, like, when you're clicking and nothing happens. So this looks okay, I mean, other than that little piece of black plastic that I have no idea if it was came from the inside. I think it did come from the inside because I was shaking it, but I don't know if it was like... Alright, whatever. This is a mouse. It was cheap. If you want to check it out, I'll have the link there for you. USB's back in there. That was kind of neat. I was scared for a minute. Like, wait a minute, I need a USB for a wireless mouse. I don't know, that's another thing. One of my friends told me that it's better to use a wired mouse because it's faster for certain things, like gaming and stuff. Like, a lot of the games I play, speed is not really, like, a big deal. Well, it is for, like, the internet connection and stuff, but, like, I don't know. It's just a thought. So maybe someday I might try one that's wired, but 
For now, I'm going to stick to my wireless, because like that's just what I've always preferred. Moving on. That's not the end of my mouse craze, though. It's not going to be anything like my knife craze, but I have at least one more coming, and I might try another one if that one ain't it. Alright, we got some more jewelry in here. This is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I was just showing my his in my history this item to someone else. This is not actually a bracelet, I misspoke. It is an anklet. And I used to wear anklets back in the day quite a bit. And like, I have my jewelry in several different boxes and organizers and stuff, and I don't find many of my anklets. So they must have either gotten gross and thrown away, or they broke, or got lost, but... That's why I thought it was big. Because it's an anklet, it's not a bracelet. Alright, this is like two anklets attached to each other. And they had a couple different designs, and I... I don't know, I love turtles. Like, I just ordered a turtle pendant from Avon. I've seen this one on here, with the starfish and the turtle. I thought that was really, really cute. It's like very totally beachy, oceany, kinda summery, kinda anklet. So that's cool. I like it. It seems like it's in pretty good shape. Um, it's got the typical silver clasp here. Oh, and it does have an extender, so if this was uh, too you know, tight on your ankle, you could use the extender. It looks like it's going to be about right. Whether it looks okay on, I'll have to see. I feel like it's pretty cute. Looking at it, it looks pretty cute. So, Success. Pretty sure it was two bucks. Seems cool. I love turtles. Seems like there was another turtle thing I item, that I itemed, <laughs> that I ordered lately. I know when we went camping at the rec hall, they had one of those. It wasn't like the crane games where you could win, but it was another kind of egg game, and it was like out of order. Like we plugged in the machine, and then it was all right at first, and nothing happened when I put the money in. And then all of a sudden you hear, eh, 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 eh. like I don't know, it's something like that, but it was like totally loud. And then I came to the conclusion that there was probably something wrong with it. I still managed to put a couple more quarters in before he's like, okay, don't put any more quarters in that because it's there's something wrong with it. And anyway, there was this turtle as the prize, and like you could see it, and it was like glorious, but it didn't end up happening, so I'll have to settle for the turtle jewelry, I guess. Alright, nice item, I like that. I was hoping that was coming soon before the warm weather ends. Although, with that saying, I do love fall, so I won't be too sad when it ends. Okay, I remember this. This was a, a random thing I came across on Wish, and it was like a really good deal. And I cannot remember how much I paid for it. I think it might have been $4. Like $0, $0 $4 shipping, but I feel like maybe I got a deal and got it for 3 but I can't remember now. And you'll never know, because when you check the link, the prices go up and down, and then you hit related, and there's different sellers, but it was a good deal on this, and I was like, I couldn't pass it up. There's four different ones. This is the original one, the original Vaseline for your dry lips. The kind that you put your finger on. Which usually I don't prefer that kind, but I mean if it works better then why not, right? So there's the original. And this is creme brulee. And then cocoa butter and rosy lips so they were a good little deal I, I can't remember exactly how cheap they were it was four dollars or less but it seemed like a pretty good deal considering I thought it was a neat item so those are cute good size for your purse too alright can't complain there everything seems intact so let's move on let's open the last small item and I'm a little worried because oh no there is more small items but there's another small item that I was hoping was going to be in this one, so let's see. Hopefully this is one of them. Meaning I was trying to open two certain items in this haul that were similar, but I only managed to find one, so maybe the other one didn't come yet. Alright. I ordered, these are earrings, and I ordered two pair because when I was showing this to somebody that I was talking to, on Messenger, a friend, she's like, order those for me too, I'll give you the money. So I did that. So that is why I have two of the same. So I'm going to show you mine. And there's actually two pairs of earrings that I ordered, that I ordered two of. And I was hoping that both were going to be in this haul. But apparently either they both didn't come yet. Oh, wait a minute. I think they did come. I think they're later on. But 
Scratch that if they're not. But anyways, hopefully they're both in this haul. Because if not, I'm going to have to fish through. Because she's waiting in for her earrings patiently. And I told her I'm pretty sure they both came while I was away. Because some of them stuff that you order from Wish, you get a little notification when it actually gets delivered. Which is nice. So, enough about that. I think they might be in the rest of this haul though. But these are... Unfortunately, these are bigger than I thought they were going to be, but I really like them, so maybe I'll have to bite the bullet and wear them. Like, I usually can only wear studs. Like, anything bigger than this, like, hurts my ears and it kind of weighs down on it, but these are so pretty that I might have to try. Maybe just wear them for a while. Show them to you. Okay, how well can you see this? <laughs> I'm hoping, okay. Uh, okay. So, it's multicolored, my other fun thing I love. Um, let me show them next show them next to each other if you can't see them. Can you see that okay? They are bigger than I thought they were gonna be, but I mean I kinda thought they might be big. They're multicolored. I'm sorry if I'm sucking at showing these to you because they are so awful small of an item but big at the same time. <laughs> they seem like they're in pretty decent shape. Got the silver little back on them. I like them. Hopefully she likes them too. They were Two dollars shipping, zero two dollar shipping, so two dollar item. They're pretty nice. Come in a little plastic bag, and they did both come together. Sometimes when you order two of something, you don't get them both at the same time. I'm told, and I don't know. I think so far with me, the, the case has been that I have got them in the same package, or at the same time at least. But I can't remember exactly on that. But they did both come successfully. Hopefully the other pair will come today too. Well, has came and is going to be in this haul. You'll know what I mean later when I get to the bun package. But So these are cool. Alright. Happy with those. Wish they were a little smaller, but I think I kind of had the feeling that they were going to be big. So, I mean, they're not huge. We'll see. Let's open something else. Squishy. It's squishy. What is it? I don't know yet. It's 3XL, whatever it is. Is it a shirt I ordered? Pattern sure don't look familiar. 3XL means I went up three sizes on this. Oh, that reminds me of those bathing suits, camping, that I brought. Well, the blue one ended up being kind of big, so I didn't bring that one. The yellow and black one, the cutout one that I wore. Did fit okay. It seemed like the top was going to be kind of loose. What it was is that right here was more low cut than I'm used to. And my boyfriend's mom was saying that I should try to sew it. So maybe I'll try doing that. I feel like sewing it is going to make it look kind of weird, but it's really comfortable. Except for like the belt part in the back, like the yellow that hangs down. It hangs down a lot farther than it should, so it makes it look probably kind of weird on me. But, I mean, I don't really care too much about that, but I don't like how it was low cut. But, it's a really nice, well-made, um, suit, so. I'll have to decide on that one, what I'm gonna do there. I'm, I guess I could try to sew it, but I don't really sew much, and it seems like kind of a chore to me, so. Eh. It is what it is, <laughs> I guess. I don't usually say that much, but I don't really know what else to say about it in that case. Okay, this is a tank top I ordered. Alright. I know I had a hard time deciding on the size, because like a lot of people were like true to size, a lot of people were like slightly tight, something like that. I hope I did good. It may be a little big. Let me look at it myself here. It's got, it's not the bathing suit kind of material, it's a nice thin material. I don't know, I don't really, I don't know if it says what kind of material it was. Probably in the description. Let's show it to ya. I remember this now. I think there was a couple different prints, or this might have been the only one available from the seller I bought. It's very happy colored, I guess I'd call it. Um, I can't tell from eyeballing it if it's going to fit right, but I have a feeling it might. I don't. It's not going to be too small. It's either going to be a little too big or it's going to fit good. Um, there's a couple loose threads hanging off the bottom, so that sucks. But hopefully they, they shouldn't affect it too much. Like I could probably just cut them off here. I like these colors. They, they seem cool. Let's see. Let's put it down. 
this might be a little bit longer than usual for shirts for me. A lot of times you get shirts off Wish and they're short and it's just like, well that sucks because then they're going to shrink and then it's like, nobody wants to see your belly or whatever if you don't have a belly, you suck. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, alright. I like it. I think it's nice. I hope it fits good. It's an interesting kind of pattern. Hmm. I'm torn whether or not it's going to be too big or not. But you know what I mean, right? When they're short, like, your skin's not supposed to be exposed on a shirt, but, like, and if it is, then it's just like, you could tell that it's too small when it shrinks like that. Like, not even have to be a belly. Just, like, it's not supposed to be a crop top, but a lot of times you order, like, shirts from Wish, and they end up being too short. And then they turn into a crop top, and they're not supposed to, and it's just like, well, that sucks. I wasn't trying to show you my skin, or my belly, or whatever. Alright, I like that. I hope it fits. What's next? Something heavy. Oh, and by the way, if you've been with me a while, you might remember this shirt from being from Wish, because it is. It's got the Freddy Krueger claw on it. I've only worn it a few times, but I really do like it. And it's got like the tears or whatever. It's comfortable and it fits well. Like, sometimes I'm thinking maybe if I, they still have it available on there, they had like five or six different patterns. This wasn't the only one. Seeing that it fit well, if it says the size on it, or I think my order history can go back that far, I could see um, what size I got and maybe order a different pattern. So I'm, I'm happy with how comfortable this one is. It's comfortable material and it fits well. Can't remember what the other patterns were. Makeup brushes! Makeup brushes. Oh yeah, I still have not used those mermaid ones. They are in the bathroom, but I have not used them yet. Let's see how these ones were. Don't remember how much they were. I know, like, I shopped around trying to get them cheaper, and, like, it just wasn't happening, but I know they were under ten. I want to say maybe six dollars. Maybe six dollars total. These are nice. I got the purple ones. Here they all are. Let's take a couple out and check them out. I'm hoping there's some smaller brushes in this set because there's more bigger ones in the last set that I don't really need as- I mostly like them for eyeshadow brushes. Oh, there's a mascara one in here too, that's kind of cool. Alright, so there's the mascara one. I prefer- like, I've never only ever had it except for in one kind of mascara, but it's like a really thin brush and I absolutely fell in love with it and I wish more mascaras had it because I prefer it much more, but this is like a regular size one. but. Anyway, let's see what else we got here. Oh, there's a perfect eyeshadow one. Just look at that. It's so beautiful. It's so glorious. And it's purple. And these are a pretty good length. I heard, like, some of them might be shorter, and I didn't really want them to be too short. Which, I mean, they're bigger than most eye eyeshadow brushes that come with the eyeshadow. So, I mean, I would have been happy, but these are, like, perfect. I like this length. Uh, here's another one. Not sure how many you guys are trying to see of these. I'm sure you've seen them on Wish if you shop around on there a lot. Here's one of the bigger ones. Big old fatty. He's cool. Alright, well, these are nice. I like them. Happy. Hopefully I actually put these to use on the other ones sometime soon. They have all different different sizes on here. Look at that. I put that one back in upside down. Does that bother anyone with OCD? I have, like, part-time OCD. Like, there's some things that bother me. Like, something crooked at work. And then there's other things that, like, don't. Like, that right there. There. Should I leave this out and bother people? No, I'm just kidding. Alright, those are nice. I was hoping they'd be coming sometime soon. Can't complain. Seem pretty basic. Um, I'm not sure how well they'll work I, since I haven't tried the last ones, but they look okay. Cool. If I didn't know any better, I think this is the same exact thing, but I did not order them more than once because I remember talking about the makeup brushes in my last haul thinking that I had ordered those, and then when I was going through my history, and I was doing a check if I had anything that was overdue, and which there was a couple, which I had to get a refund on, but there was no other makeup brushes ordered, so that tells me that those ones there should be the only ones, so this must be like tens or something like that, because I know I forgot with the knives, but since I actually went and checked, that's how I knew that they weren't the makeup brushes. <gasps> this is one of those items! Okay, I gotta inspect the label on this one. Let me check something here.
I can't tell if this is from Wish or if it is the one I won. So let's say this is from Wish, maybe. These are some really neat pens that I've seen on there. And there was another game I played that had the same exact prize. So this is either from that game or it's from Wish. So we're going to say this is from Wish this time. So if I get these again, either in this haul or another haul, then we'll say it's from the game. It should tell me it's from the game, I'm thinking, when I order it or when I open it. But I'm not positive on that because it's going to be my first prize from that game. So I think these came from Wish. And I like them. And they're supposed to write in the different colors that they say. Like this one here says purple, happy day. And there's orange, happy day, black, happy day. They all say happy day, apparently. So there's green, light blue, red, dark blue. There's some sweet little pens. I, li I thought they were neat. I thought they were, like, pretty design on them. So there was four different patterns that you could pick from. And I picked this one. And I think they were they were cheap. They were, like, either 3 or $4. Like, they were a pretty good deal. So, if you like pens, I guess I would recommend these. Um, I don't think I'm going to open them, just in case. In case the other ones are, like, all loose leaf in the package, I'll keep those ones, and then I'll save these ones as a gift, because that's why I ordered two. One for a gift, one for me. And, I mean, you can see these pens, right? There's no reason to take them out anyway. I think I'm happy with them. I don't know how they write yet, but they seem cool. Really cute pens. Really cute pens. Can some cute stuff in this haul. I'm pretty happy with things. Let's open this one next, because I can see it poking out. Like, I don't know, like, if the mailman is rough with things, or he gets curious, or just, like, things get beat up on their way here. But the dress, was it my last haul? I think it was my last haul. The dress that I ordered, they had sent the wrong color. And I don't remember, either if it was the haul before that I already told you this, but if it was the last haul, I checked, and sure enough, I ordered the right color, they just sent me the wrong color, just like with the bathing suit. I, it did fit, so I decided to keep that, and then I'm like, I'm going to try again to order the dress and hope that I get the right color. Someone's like, they probably just ran out, so they gave you that one. I'm like, yeah, but you can't do that, right? I mean, like, shouldn't do that. I mean, maybe they do that? I don't know, but I could tell that's, this dress is what it was, because when I got it in the mail, I seen it, and I'm like, oh, at least they sent the right color. Somebody tried to open it, or it just got torn, but. So, this is this dress that I ordered. I don't remember what size I ordered, but it did fit, so I ordered the same size in this one when I looked it up, so this will fit. Let's hope this is pretty. Oh, XXL, double XL. So I went from large up two sizes to double XL. And sometimes you get stuff from there, though, even if it's the same size, I've heard, and it won't fit as well. So hopefully it does fit as well as the last one. And that one was just the colors were a little bit different. Oh, I just love this material. It is so silky and sweet. Okay. This is the color that I originally intended to... Actually... Okay, so I ordered orange. And this really looks more pink than orange. So, I don't know. I think it's possible they sent me the wrong color again. I really do. Like, I wish I had, like, my phone available. My phone's, like, out there. And I think they sent me pink instead of orange. I really do. Like, sometimes, like, you get something and the color is off, um, you know, on the screen compared to when you get it, which they say might happen. But this really seriously looks like the pink one that they sent. Like, unbelievable. Okay. Well, let's look at it. I'm going to have to look it back up and see what happened. But I think they sent me the pink one. And I'm just like, done. <laughs> like, I'm not ordering this again. But I think they sent the pink one. Well, I don't know. It looks kind of orangey down here. Hell. I'll sort it all out later, but there was like a pink one and an orange one on there. And this looks more pink than orange to me, but maybe the pink looks more red. I mean, I don't know, but I'm pretty much done with it at this point. Here's what it looks like. I like the material. And I mean, it's, the pink's nice anyway, so I, I think they sent me pink instead of orange, but if they didn't, I have two dresses. There's not going to be a third. <laughs> Here we have it. It's the tank top dress. And it is pretty long, but not too long. Like, I have short dresses and I have long dresses. This is a long one, and the material is nice. And it's it's almost like a casual kind of dress, you know, but not too casual. So you can get some different uses out of it. So there you have it, my pink dress, maybe? And if you see my last haul, there's there was like a couple other color options. 
and I cannot tell. This seriously looks more pink than orange to me, and I feel like I got errored again, maybe. <laughs> but I like it, so I mean, I guess I'm not disappointed, or I'm not sure. <laughs> Moving on, let's see what we got. We only got four more things. I think these are my pens. There's no telling though, because I do love pens, so I might have ordered more. Hope I'm not cutting in to it. These are my pens. Those are those pens. They're in here. Oh, and they're both packaged up nice. So which one do I want to open? You know, that didn't tell me anything about being from the game either. They both had, like, the foreign writing on the outside. So I don't know if you're interested in playing another game. This is another dice game that I play, but it's not as cool as Very Dice. But I will leave the link in the description, or the name of the game in the description, and my friend's code if you want to download it. And if you do decide to download it, that would help me out great. And we both get the same amount of rolls, so it's still pretty cool either way. These, um, are they the same? Okay, the pattern is a little bit different on these ones. But it still says Happy Day, and it has the different colors on them. But they are a little bit different. The pattern is different on them. So one of these was like three or four dollars, and one of these was free for 2,000 tokens, 2,000 tickets. They did up their lowest amount you can win on that game to 3,000 tickets on this my other game I play. So it takes a little bit longer, and I was almost to my second prize when they did that too. And I'm like, really? Really? And I was kind of skeptical on this other game because it was like, doesn't have as many um, downloads as the other ones that I play, but. I have gotten my item, which I could kind of tell I was going to get it from, like, the email correspondence. And this game is a little bit different. I heard they do it, too. Like, when they, you have to verify your shipping um, details and stuff, they ask you if you would prefer Amazon credit instead of your prize. Like, they offered me $3 Amazon credit, and I decided to get the prize. Because I already have, like, $20 Amazon credit anyway from some different various gift cards I've won online from other games I played. Which, I think remember which one it was. One of the other games I played, I got an Amazon card. Like, there's so many free apps out there that you can get good stuff from, so. I mean, if you want to start doing that, you know, check out some of the links I leave you on those, but. I guess I'm not going to go ahead and open these. These are pens, and they probably write pretty cool, and plus I don't think I have any paper handy anyway to see how good they write. So I guess I'm not doing very good at reviewing this item to you guys, but. So we'll see how they look. Like, look how cute these pens are. Some of them are the same, but they're like a little bit different. Like this one has the hearts on it. There's a couple that are different in them though, so I'm going to have to decide which one I want for myself. And I'm starting to think maybe I was crazy and they're all the same, but then I've seen this blue and white one, and that blue and white one is not in here. So, pens, pens, hooray! And one of them was, one set was free. And I think that's a nice gift. I mean, I don't know about other people, but I love pens. Like, that's my favorite thing to get free when I go to, like, expos and festivals and stuff. And Alright, so we got three things left to check out. Let's do this one. Clothing, I think. <laughs> I feel like I'm rambling today. Sorry about that. But, hey, you're all here about the items, right? See if we got some cool items. Huh. A shirt. I swear I thought it was a different shirt at first that I own and I'm like I didn't order that. I ordered that like months and months ago. This is one that I had seen, well there's two of them that I've seen that are similar. They have a skull on them that I kept seeing over and over on Wish and I'm like that is so pretty but I could not figure out what size to order and like that was like one of the main reasons why I hadn't ordered it yet. And then another reason is like when I order, I, like, I try to order something that has been ordered by well, I mean, I'll order stuff that's been ordered by a hundred people or more. But, like, I try to prefer, if there's a choice and the prices are similar, I'd rather get them from a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand people. Because, to me, you're, it feels like you're more likely to get it. And it's more likely to be, I don't know, a couple different reasons why I do it. And stuff. I mean, I know you can get the refund, but sometimes, like, like, I had those two shirts I ordered before. They went past the refund window because, especially with doing hauls, you don't open them right when you get them. 
and then other times it just time goes by and you think you know it's going to take a while to get it and then you get past the time and then you can't get the refund or well I don't know I, I didn't argue too much on those two shirts because everything else I've been alright with but anyway this shirt is one that I was worried about whether or not I would get it and I was also worried about the size there's two of them that are similar and then I heard the colors aren't they aren't like as advertised on it I'm really hoping I did okay with the size on this. Let's see what I ended up picking. I ended up picking extra large. Wow, okay. So I only went up one size on this. So must be I decided to go with the uh, review saying that it was only it's pretty true to size and only going up a little bit. I hope I was right because I really love this pattern. Okay, let's show you the back first. Yep, it's got a tag extra large. Here is the back. It's black and it's got a little bit of a cutout thing going on here. You see that okay? Let me get the tag out of the way. Fancy Cube is the name of the company. That's that tag in the back there if you can't tell. It's black. This is that ever-loving Wish swimsuit material. But it seems comfortable, so... Let me get a look at the size before I show you the front. This size looks pretty perfect. I think they were right in saying only go up a size. I guess it could be form-fitting, I'll know when I get it on, but check this out, I love this. It is pretty blue and purple and black and white. It's got the skull. This color is pretty close to what it advertised, if I remember correctly. There's another one that's like white, it has a lot more white on it and blue and purple. And they're, they were two, they're similar designs, but they're not the same seller, like they're not like a choice. They had other shirts on here besides this one. This is the color that I really liked. but So I don't know. I really like this. I kind of wish they were the same seller because then if I get the size right, I could order the other one. But they're like totally different shirts but similar. Different skull shirts. I love this. I really hope this fits. I almost want to try it on now, but I think the fit would be better like without the shirt on too. So, But like as I hold it up, I mean, doesn't it just kind of seem like it's going to be right? It seems like it's going to be right to me. It's so silky. This is probably going to be my favorite thing from the haul. I really like this. I like this. I guess I'm not too disappointed about that dress. Whether or not that's the right color or the wrong color again. I mean, that was going to be my runner-up pink if I didn't order the orange, so... I don't know. But anyway, it can't beat this shirt. I like this shirt. This is neat. I hope it fits. I think it's going to be alright. I am so glad that I didn't go with like the biggest size, but I don't remember if the biggest size on here was 3XL or 5XL. Some of them were 3, some were 5, and... Alright. I love it. What do we got? Which one's first? Let's do this one. I'm assuming this is clothing item. From the way it feels. It is! I was just thinking about this shirt the other day because I seen it on Wish when I was shopping. I ordered a bunch of stuff yesterday or... I don't know. I got 20% 20, 20, 20 from the stamp thing so I decided to use it. And I think I got... well it wasn't like a bunch of things but like it was several things. Anyway, I seen this shirt and I'm like, ooh, I think that'll be coming soon or I'll be opening that soon. A long time back I got this shirt in a different pattern. And it was kind of like a weird fit, but it fit. Like some of them, like, they just fit weird in certain spots. And then I got thinking, I'm like, I should have ordered that pink, blue, and orange one. So those color is really popping. Yes, I said popping. And I don't remember if when I ordered it, I went way back in my history and seen what size I ordered or not. Or if I just read the reviews. But whatever I did, I hope I did it right. Because I, I could tell I'm going to love this. I ordered extra large, so I went up one size. And I don't remember if that rings a bell with me or not from the other one. I seen it the other day going through my clothes. Alright, let's open it up here. I love these colors together. I really do. Yeah, this... You know, this one feels way, way different than the other one I got. The other one I got was kind of like, um... A cross between the swimsuit and the tablecloth material. Like, it's not swimsuity, but it's, um... Like, smooth. This one is more of a cottony kind of fabric. So this is... This is better. <laughs> this is cool. Alright, here it is. These colors are awesome together. I really like this. This top is cool. I hope it fits just as good as... I hope it fits better than the other one. And I kind of feel like it will because it's not like that 
like, it's kind of like papery kind of bathing suit material. Like, it kind of, like, like it bunches up, kind of, wrinkles. This is, like, fabric, and I love it. I hope this fits good. I think it's gonna, too. I, I'm happy with this shirt. What shirt do I like better? This one or the last? The last one. <laughs> I like them both, though. If one fits better, I might change my mind on that. By the way, I'm going to another concert in a couple weeks. I'm so excited about that. And I just went to one. I just got... This is like... Yesterday was like... No, the day before yesterday was my last day of vacation. I went camping into a concert. I'm going to another one coming up soon. This should be fun. It's uh, by Finger Death Punch and Breaking Benjamin. Nothing more and Bad Wolves. So I'm looking forward to that. Happy day. Concert shirts. Let's hope we have fun with this last item too. Now, this is what I was talking about, about the earrings. Now, I've never had this happen before, but when I place, you know, when you place your order, you get a bunch of different things in it, and you get everything separate, right? Which is how it is. Well, on the description of this package, it says three different things on it. So, and one of them is earrings. So, I think my earrings, the other earrings I ordered are in this package. And it says two sets of earrings, which is what I ordered. So, I mean, they are going to be, right? Unless, like... This is just one item, and all the other items say the same description of contents, but I don't think it's going to be that way. I think they're all in here, and that's cool. I think all three, there's three different items in this package. And I've never had that happen before on Wish. Like, I've never had random items come together. I mean, I guess that means they're the same seller. Is that possible that I would ironically order from the same seller? Like, they're totally different items. Like, it's shorts, earrings, and a home accessory. So, I just thought that was kind of weird, but... I think that's pretty much what it is. I'm glad the earrings are in there. And then I forgot about that earlier when I was opening those other earrings. And then I thought I remembered it. And I'm like, oh, I think they are going to be later in the haul. Man, I wanted to just, like, tear into this. But I don't want to, like, tear the clothing item. So I'm like, eh. I am, like, one of the weakest people ever. Oh, okay. You thought we had one thing left to open. But we don't. We have three things left to open. This is like a package of three packages. <laughs> Let me make sure. Yeah, I'll try. What do we want to open first? I say the earrings because we know what they are the most. This is so cool. Look at that. Like, I just turned 13 items into 16 items. I'm magical. <laughs> Sorry, that was lame. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. They're in a little box! Like, OMG, that is so cute! Oh, that's adorable! Wow, you know, these look like, just like the other ones. They don't look different at all. Like, when I ordered these earrings, they were both multicolored. But, one was rounded and one was more square. Alright, well... They look like the same pair of earrings. Where did I put those? I know I didn't throw them on the floor. Because they're like little. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh hell, I don't know. These look like the same exact earrings. Alright. Here they are. They look exactly the same. Like, I'm going to have to find those and compare them and see. But these look like the same exact ones I ordered. And they were like from a different seller. And they don't look any different. So... I'm going to have to compare those and find out what's going on there. I'm not going to open them because they are those earrings. The other ones I opened, the very first item was it? I think it was the first item. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to compare those and see what's going on. If they are, I mean, that's cool. I'll save one as a gift. But the other girl that wanted them, I don't know if she's going to want two of the same pair of earrings. So I'll have to see what she wants to do with that. But those do not look any different than the other pair to me, so... I'm not sure what happened there. I'm gonna have to find out. All right. All right. Whatever. They're they're cool earrings, but all right. What's first? Which I don't know what this is. Let's open this. I don't know what it is. Oh, this is weird. This is not the usual like garbage bag material. It's more like papery. It's like it's making my hands feel weird. Oh my gosh. Okay. When one of my Unless you're, like, a fan of my hauls, you probably haven't seen this, but in one of my very first hauls, like, my first ones when I first started out, um, probably it was dark, so you probably couldn't see it anyway, 
but I ordered a nightlight for my mom, and the box was all beat up, and apparently that's what they do. They're like, you want your nightlight? And they're like, rah, 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 and beat it all up, and like throw it all around or something, because look at this box. This one's worse than the first one. And it's just like, I wanted to give, gift it to her, and I'm just like, I'm not using that freaking beat up box to give it, it's like a nice item. Why do I want it to have it all beat up to hell? Like, look at that. How oh, it makes me want to order a third one just to see if the box is going to be in shambles. Like, I mean, this is shambles, but... Alright, well, this is a nightlight. I had ordered this, one of these, a long time ago. They have a couple different sellers that have them, and they come in all different patterns. Most of them are, like, flowers or pretty designs, and it's like... Man, I can't even get into the box. It's so beat up. Why would they do that? Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what goes on from point A to point B that this happens to the box. I feel like it happens when they put it in the box. I swear, I feel like they're like, uh, use it to get some aggression out or something. Alright, well this is a nice item though. And the last one worked. Box. Box is giving me diabetes. Alright. Here it is. Very pretty flowers. And, oh I wish I had an outlet near you to show you, but these, it probably works. There's a little outlet. Or the little plug. <laughs> Sorry. These are so pretty. I thought they were so nice. Like, I have a little heart one in the bathroom already, but... So I haven't decided where I'm going to put this one. But I thought... I think these are so pretty. This is like a $2 item, and it's so worth it. Because they're so pretty. And I think on the last one, the flower came right out when I opened it. But pretty sure it went back in, if I remember right. I like this one. Don't smell like anything. <laughs> I didn't expect it to smell like flowers, but some of the stuff smells weird, and I was just curious. But so there it is. Nice item. Packaging is rather thumbs down, and I just get so curious about that. Like, I wonder if there's like videos online of like people packaging this kind of stuff. I'm pr I'm guessing probably not, but I don't know. What happens to those boxes? Nightlight. I love it. All right, so that leaves us with one final item. I know what it is because I remember it. The shorts that I got specifically for around the house slash pajamas. Because like sometimes I put my pajamas on when I get home regardless of the time if I know I'm not going anywhere. I know I'm not the only one there. So, oh wow, these are nice. Okay, pink leopard kind of pattern here. These are not as short as I thought they were going to be, too, so I'm happy. Like, I was worried they were going to be, like, they didn't, they looked this length in the picture, but I was worried they were going to be short, kind of like those camo swimsuit ones that I got. Which, by the way, I did wear those as a swimsuit with that tank top, and it fit good. It was, a, uh, it was good. I like that, so. That was a keeper. It worked out good as a swimsuit. This, uh, this seems good. It stretches nice. Was there a size on these? I think these were one size fits all. I don't remember exactly, so you'll have to check out the link. It could have been extra large, actually. It was either small through extra large, or it was one size fits all. And I would have picked the extra large, I'm thinking. No, that sounds more right. I think they were extra large, and I, I picked the largest size, because they were large, but I think they were saying, like, the extra large fit pretty good. I don't remember if there was other colors, but I like these. These look, it's like a, a thin swimsuity material. No tags or anything, but I know these were extra large. I remember it in my head pretty clearly now. I like them. These seem like they'll be very comfortable for around the house. And pajamas. Cool. I am pretty happy with these items I got, especially the clothing items. And, well, this shirt, I, I like it, but I don't know if it's going to fit right compared to the others. I, I feel like I got a good shot at all of these fitting. I could be wrong. Oh, um, I hope you found some cool items today that you might want to check out yourself, or at least that I kept you entertained. Um, I'll see you next time for another haul. Thank you for watching. Bye.